Okay, so we're now going to show a list of all the users that are currently registered on our site. And for this, I'm going to need to add another user to our users table because we only have one at the moment. So let me log out and register a new account quickly. So that's done. And what I'm going to do is just activate myself from the database. like so. So we now have uh, two users. Now the view all users page is going to be public. So all we need to do is add it to our navigation just down here. So we're going to create an anchor here. We're going to say URL for, and we're going to give this a name. So we're going to say user.all. And in here we can just say all users. So let's create this route then so we can actually start to output something. So under user in roots, we're going to create a new file and I'm going to call this all.php. So in here, we're going to say app get users. You can obviously call this anything you want. We're going to use app as usual. I'm going to give this root a name of user.all. So to grab all users then, we're going to grab all users that are currently active because we don't want to show inactive users if they haven't activated their account. So we're going to say users equals app user where active is true, so only active users. And this time we use get because we're pulling back more than one result. So now we want to render our view, which we again haven't created, and that's going to be under user, and it's going to be called all.php. And much like with the user profile, we're just going to send through all of the users to this. Now, this is going to be an array. It's going to be a collection, basically, of all of the users. So we can iterate over these and we can go ahead and uh, output whatever we want about each of these users. So let's create that view then. So under our views user folder, we're going to create a new file called all.php. We'll again borrow the structure from home.php or any other file. And we're going to say all users for the title. And in here, all users. And let's go back and update. Um, in fact, no, we updated our navigation, so we don't need to add that. We now have, of course, we need to add, uh, we're getting an error again. We need to add this to our uh, roots file here. So that's user all.php. And there we go. So we've got all users, which comes to our all users page. So now all we need to work on is the actual view. So let's close all of these other files off. And what do we need to do? Well, we need to uh, maybe give a title. You can do whatever you want. The first thing we need to check is if the users array is empty. So to do this, we say if users is empty. Otherwise, we want to do something else. So if the users is empty, we can say no registered users. We're not actually going to see this message, but you can go ahead and around with playing with it and remove these uh, records from your database. Otherwise, we want to say for user in users, this is slightly different syntax than you would have seen in normal PHP. And here we end a for. So now we're looping through each user. So I'm going to create a div with the class of user. Uh, there's no styles attached to this, but it you know just gives you an idea of what you could do. Um, what we're then going to do is create a link to their profile with their username in here. So user.username. I'm going to create a link to their profile. We've already created this page. So URL for user.profile. And in here, we pass the username, user.username. So we now have the following. So two users, Tabby and Alexander. We can click through to each of their profiles. Cool. 
So the next thing we're going to do then is we are going to check if they have a full name or not. So we're going to say if user dot get full name and that if and if they do have a full name, we can go ahead and output that in brackets. So we just have that surround in brackets. So user dot get full name. OK, so let's refresh. And there we go. We know that we set a full name for Tabby, but Alexander currently doesn't have a full name, so it's not being output. But now we have a list of users within our application. 